Hi, I'm Webb Beagle from Keen on the Market. I'm here to talk to you today about using the market webs to day trade. Um, one setup that I used very nicely today was trading uh, Twitter. There's some news that came out, some market chatter with, uh, I believe, Facebook uh, potentially doing a takeover. That news came out, um, I believe, somewhere around 10 o'clock this morning. And if we look on a five minute chart, the market webs provided actually a buy signal here at 1010, and this is Eastern time zone, and a second buy signal at 1040 with uh, targets at the Venom lines. These are these lines out here. And we can see that the first one, we started to consolidate a little bit after the first target. Second target, we are now above. With the next target, we still haven't finished the day here, but the next target is going to be at 3638. We may or may not get there, but two targets already have been hit on Twitter. Another thing that gives me confidence to take a long side trade in Twitter is that looking at the hourly chart, which allows me to see value areas for the week, we can see this large run up in Twitter here. With the, that first consolidation, we finally got a buy signal as well. So I liked it to the long side as we were moving up and got into value uh, for the week. So I was actually long earlier than this. These are Each bar represents one hour. But it gives me confidence to stay in it as uh, we get a buy signal here at 11 a.m. And actually another buy signal here, even as Twitter is pulling back, gives me the confidence to stay in it. We should find support for Twitter now at 35.77 for the week. Uh, looking at the year, we actually don't have value areas for the year um, because Twitter is too young of a stock. Stock needs to be about three years old to have a value area for the year. But looking at the monthly, we're actually going to rotate into uh, the July value area uh, tomorrow. But we're currently working with the June value area. We're below value, and we've hit these, these targets here um, with swings, shorts uh, to the downside here. But looking at an upside resistance of 36.44, which is going to be the top of value for July as we get into that value area tomorrow. So staying long, if I decide I want to stay long for the rest of the day, depending on what happens for the rest of the day, that's going to be my long side target. And I'll close out my position once we get there. Because once we get there, we can expect, uh, based on the rules of value areas, that we're actually going to move to the downside and find resistance at that level. So I, I love using the market webs for day trading. It helps me get a little ahead of the news as well. Um, and it gives me the signals to buy, gives me a little alert to buy. And uh, it works really well for me. So this is just an example of day trading. I also use it for swing trading, of course. So if you're interested, uh, I certainly, it has helped out my trading a lot. I think it can help everybody's trading a lot. A lot of people that, uh, that use the market webs attest that uh, they can't look at a chart without them anymore. It's like uh, looking at something that you have no idea where, what is going on or where it can go. But with the market webs, it gives you an understanding of what's going on in the market where the stock can go, when to buy it, when to sell it, what the targets are, et cetera, et cetera. So hope you like it. Um, if you're interested in purchasing it, check out the link in the comments here and uh, have a wonderful day. And I wish you all great trading.